Hi, this is the continuation of a series of videos designed to give individuals information that they can use to prepare for a visit to a physician's office. The videos are designed to help ensure that the individual can ask appropriate questions of the physician and to increase the likelihood that quality care will be obtained. Chickenpox and chickenpox vaccine is our topic today. Chickenpox, also called varicella, is a highly contagious disease that affects children, especially between the ages of two to eight years. Chickenpox used to be very common in the United States. In the early 1990s, an average of four million people got chickenpox. 10,500 to 13,000 were hospitalized and 100 to 150 died each year. Chickenpox vaccine became available in the United States in 1995. The chickenpox rash consists of groups of small itchy vesicles. These look like blisters that have a central distribution. They appear on the face, scalp, and trunk of the body. Here is a rash on white skin. Here is the rash on dark skin. It is caused by a varicella zoster virus, one of the herpes viruses. These viruses remain latent in the body after infection and can be reactivated, producing a painful rash known as shingles. We will discuss shingles and the shingles vaccine in a later video. It is an easily spread virus. It is contagious while the individual has symptoms and the vesicles remain. When the vesicles dry, this indicates that the individual can no longer infect others. Here's a picture of dried vesicles. The incubation period is usually 15 to 18 days, but it can range from 10 to 20 days. Chickenpox illness usually lasts about four to seven days. The onset is different in children and adults. Children may initially show no initial symptoms before the rash appears. But adults will have a fever, muscle aches, fatigue, and a headache one to three days before the rash appears. The rash may consist of a small number of vesicles, but can range up to a thousand plus vesicles. And again, the vesicles tend to band together in groups this is referred to as cropping. Complications. Viral pneumonia, although rare, can occur. Death, although rare, can occur in children who are immune compromised and newborns with congenital varicella. Most common is the infection of the vesicles with bacteria. The vesicles can leave scars. Treatment is supportive. Rest and hydration are important. Fever should be treated, but aspirin is to be avoided. A soothing lotion to relieve itching can be applied. In order to minimize scratching, fingernails should be cut and hands cleaned. Cotton mittens may also be utilized as needed. Daily bathing is needed. A cup of sodium bicarbonate could be added to the bath water as a mild antiseptic. Pet dry. Do not rub dry. A child should not return to school until completely recovered. Prevention. Prevention is the key. A vaccine is available. Children need two doses of varicella vaccine. The first dose at 12 through 15 months of age. The second dose at four through six years of age. Older children, adolescents, and adults also need two doses of varicella vaccine if they are not already immune to chickenpox. Varicella vaccine may be given at the same time as other vaccines. Also a child between 12 months and 12 years of age might receive varicella vaccine together with the MMR, the measles, mumps, and rubella vaccine in a single shot, known as the MMRV. Your physician can give you more information on this. 
Two doses of the chickenpox vaccine is more than 90% effective at preventing chickenpox. Vaccination protects you and others. Some people who are vaccinated against chickenpox may still get the disease. However, the symptoms are usually milder with fewer or no blisters. They may have just red spots and a mild or no fever. The risk of getting chickenpox after two doses of chickenpox vaccine is lower than after only one dose of the chickenpox vaccine. When no immunization program is available, avoidance of those with chickenpox is prudent. Well, I hope this helps. Have a good day.